And now to day three of the professor's strike at Eastern Michigan University. Students speaking out in frustration after more classes were canceled. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Mike Duffy. Well, earlier today, a judge denied the school's request for a temporary restraining order that would have required all staff to return to classrooms. However, the judge did set a hearing for the university's request for a preliminary injunction. That's a week away on Friday, September 16th. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Ypsilanti digging into the daily cost to students. Faculty members here at EMU say day three of a strike is less about celebrating a legal victory and more about getting a fair contract from the university. Shame on admin! As faculty continues to strike outside Welch Hall, students like Kashad Slater from Detroit do the math about paying for classes now canceled. Tuition is already expensive. And so it goes up every single year. So not having, not taking class has been kind of like wonky a little bit. Average tuition and fees for on campus students are 14,400 a year, according to the university. Faculty tells us they have 30 weeks of class over two semesters. That amounts to roughly $96 spent on each day of canceled class. I brought Isaac with me, who's two and a half, and I brought Elliot with me, who's eight months old. Professor Audrey Ferruja teaches communication sciences and disorders and is among those holding out for more money for health care costs. The university is offering to give us that raise, but it is not covering the cuts even close. The university filed a lawsuit claiming this strike is causing irreparable harm, asking for a temporary restraining order to stop it, but a judge denied it. In the meantime, professors not accepting the offer of a 15.2% raise in a five-year deal. And on the picket line, we found more students and professors weighing in. We would love it if today we did not have to be out here, but we are out here. We have a lot more support. We have lots of students joining us. I'm paying a lot of money to not go to class and to be essentially teaching myself. I'm incredibly frustrated with the university. University spokesperson Walter Kraft says they've got to work to avoid a big raise in tuition to cover added expenses of health benefits. A court date in a week will also revisit the school's request to stop this strike. How many of those classes are you able to still hold with a grad student or someone else? Yeah, it's really hard to say, Simon. We know the impact on our students has been tremendous. What's making it so difficult for both sides to agree on the same set of ideas for health care? Yeah, you know, these are very difficult and challenging issues. Both sides tell us they plan to continue their negotiations throughout the weekend. We'll be bringing you the latest developments as they happen. From Ypsilanti, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you.